gouging fire doing well and raging bolt starting to meet its potential, you've got to at least feel a little bad for the walking wake. Well, today we're going to be giving it its flowers and seeing what it's all about. Now, of course, in order to do that, we need to know what this bad boy does. So it has the Azure Seas. Damage from attacks used by this Pokemon isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. And it has the Catharsis Raw Attack 120, but if your opponent's Pokemon's affected by a special condition, you do 120 more. And uh, the obvious partner here is the Brute Bonnet. And that's kind of the flaw. Needing a Pokemon on the bench to use its ability to allow you to do more damage makes it more inconsistent. But have we already forgotten there's a deck that still uses the Bonnet? It's close. Cloth. Just play it with cloth. At least that's going to be my angle for today. So if you want to see what this deck is all about, stay tuned because we're about to get in some games. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PPCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off. TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. Hoopa! What the hell? Okay, so the Hooper, I've seen a little bit on the ladder now. It's kind of a tech card to deal with the hands because I'm assuming we're playing Lost Box here. And um, the, the Hooper's actually really good because the hands you accelerate a ton of energy into play, then you just energy crush it and delete it. But yeah, I, I've seen that. When I have played hands and stuff, I just see a Hooper drop. And I'm like, what the hell does happen? Does happen. Does happen indeed. Also, interestingly enough, yesterday, if you saw me on Twitter, I uh, check out my Twitter, by the way. It's uh, literally FDW underscore TCG, I think it is, or FDW. Something underline. It's in the description. But I post a lot there, by the way, about kind of antics and stuff that I experience in TCG life for, during the day, bugs and stuff like that. That I, I, I you know, I, and my terrible takes. I have all my terrible takes on there for you to absolutely hate me for. But an interesting thing happened where I was playing my, uh, I had an Arceus Reggie deck that I was playing, right? And I was just getting bodied by this uh, this hands deck, right? I couldn't even get my V-Star power off because it's some awkward prizing. And I went to one prize card, they went to one prize card remaining and I had like four. And their only attacker, really, I think apart from a Maridon with just one energy, wasn't ha a hands charged up with Baton. And the weird enough, because I had my Regigigas out, I could use Regigigas's V-Star power and just deleted the hands. It was so fun. And that's on Twitter if you want to see it. You can actually see it happen. But uh, yeah, that was just kind of a, a tangent thing talking about the Hooper. But I think I go for a... The hand isn't really giving me much. I'll go for a Greninja. Why not? I can also just a reader for Awake. Another Pokemon if I wanted to. I think I might here. Although, do I just go for... Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll go for a... I tend to kind of go for Palkia, you know. I am tempted for... Palkia's really good just, just to get going. Also, I can actually just trigger off a Moonlight Shuriken if they don't bench a Manaphy. So I guess that threat is nice. Yeah, that's quite nice. I'll take it. Okay, let's do that. Nest Ball, get Bidoof down. And maybe I just attach to the Greninja and just say, hey, that, that, that threat is there. So if you want to be careful, I could Moonlight Shuriken you soon. Yeah, let's do that. It forces a, Banif a Manaphy bench, um, at least. And again, another reason why I just like the Palkia in the deck, because it just now gives you the Moonlight Shuriken in a deck that doesn't really need it. Not doesn't need it, sorry, but but wouldn't be able to use it, should I say. Unless you're playing like four energy switches. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm waffling. Let, let's just see what they're doing. They're just gonna, doing their, their usual lost, so, lost zone stuff. Bit worried about the hands coming out. The Roaring Moon as well is going to be a pain. This is going to be a difficult one, in my opinion. But they're called experiments. Doing what Turbo Box does. They're at four in the lost zone. They can cram, but thankfully we will survive it. Greninja there. And a switch. Gonna go into a comfy here. I'm assuming they're digging for, for Manaphy here. Okay, they're flower selecting again. Get rid of a water here. They pass? No shot. Okay, now we've got to try. Yeah, it's gotta happen. All right, let's conceal cards here. There's no way we're getting it without Palkia, so I might as well conceal cards. Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> Blood just hit it. Okay. So we go for a switch into the ninja. I can't believe I'm doing a Moonlight Shuriken. This is insane. Do I get rid of the switch again? What if I get boss trapped Sableye late game? We don't want that. So I'm just going to get rid of you and you. Yep. 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 Definitely the play. Definitely the play. I can also Iona them, which is even better. Oh, this is nice. What the hell? Deck, why are you letting me do this? Filthy. All right. There goes the Iono. Sadist Vitality. Definitely love to see that. Love to see the big barrel. And dare I... In my own arrogance, get rid of a turbo or my own, my own, yeah, arrogance and try and attach that to the cloth and get a cloth going eventually. I think that might be overkill, you know? Yeah, it's a little bit over the top, isn't it? So I'm just going to start portal here and get two on the, I could, I could go all in, you know, I really could, but I think I'm going to put one on the pack. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, just take it easy. Just take it a little bit easy. Take my two prizes. And we haven't even got the wake out. Wilding. Absolutely wilding. Then again, that was like the perfect hand for that stuff. So I can't even complain when I do lose. Jesus Christ. All right, there's a buddy puffin. You get the Manaphy down now, don't you? They always do. They respond with a Manaphy when 
I can't do it anymore. It's quite fun actually when that happens. But there is there is always that lurking threat now with just an energy attachment for two turns. So if they prize up, what? Are you telling me I should have just kept the moonlight shot? I could have done it again. Nah, but we can't be too hasty now, can we? Right, there's another coal res. I'm just more glad that we got the barrel out because that means we're just not so weak to uh, Roxanne and stuff like that. Raikou, that's fantastic. The claw can deal with that. Now I go for a flower selecting anyway. So I can get a prime capture? Bro, that is disgusting. So an arena top deck just puts me in a fantastic position because then I can just prime capture this Raikou up with a claw and just delete it. Right, there's a poker stop. That helps us in our journey of getting the prime. They hit Mirage Gate here. What are they going to take out though? You can't just come with a Raikou. That's just a very bad idea. They're coming up with a Raikou. What is you? What are you doing? Nah, nah, people aren't going to believe me here. People aren't going to believe this is real. Bro, I swear to God. I swear, I swear. <laughs> Bro, don't make me turn this face cam off now, mate. You know, uh, show, show the name. So, actually, that means nothing, does it? I, I'm not I'm not paying anyone. I haven't got the money to do it. I, it just seems so, so fake that there's someone would come up with a Raikou and take out my Greninja with a cloth. But then again, maybe they don't know. Maybe they're just not anticipating that play because I haven't given any sign that I'm playing the bonnet. Right? I've given no in. The claw for loan should be enough of a sign. That should say, hey, I'm playing a bonnet. Don't come up with a with a Raikou because I'm going to want to KO you if you do. So it's a, a failure on my opponent's part to read the game if they come up with Raikou. So I think they're going to do it. Yeah, that is insane. Oh, they're going to hate me. They're going to they're gonna scoop, bro. They're not going to like me at all because I've got it in hand. It's not even a, it's not even a, it's not even a problem. It's not even trouble, mate. Bro, I haven't even done the walking wake in this game. I love the versatility, man. It's just so much is going on. It's flexible, right? Oh, this is just, this, I can even go for a Seder. I am in, I'm in love. All right, let's incise this though. Take our time here and I'm I'm gonna say to here like that i'll even get one on here why the hell not feeling funky there's some energy there that's fine and just like that toxic powder unhinged scissors another two prize ko and on top of that we still have the prime catcher and this hooper is there for the taking I mean if we just get an arena we win but that is a big if arena isn't my primary supporter i think i only play two and there's one down already but i could also try and focus stop maybe should i focus stop this turn i don't know to be fair to you but we are walking away with this one right now granted at the poor decisions of my opponent which, you know, it's everyone learns, right? Everyone goes through these experiences. And again, we are in the Master League, so that is kind of wild. Anyway, they go for a rod. Don't you dare recover that Raikou. That's a very silly, silly decision. They get the cram back. Yep, the cram is definitely the move. It's the only way you're coming back. But the funny thing is, I could just get another claw down. <laughs> just like, yeah, okay, fine. You took my single prize route. Here's another one. We have the Arson for that, the Ultra Ball. I mean, it's just, yeah. This is why I wanted the claw, man. It's that single prize attacker that can just force your opponent, not force your opponent, but at least put your opponent in this position of needing to take single prizes instead of the wakes. There's a Roxanne though, so that's definitely thrown it in the in the bin. But we do have a barrel, so that's fine. And <laughs> the turbo I'm not against for sure. I can also just come up with Palkia and go for a swing. And um, they didn't recover Raikou either. So that's a good thing. Yeah, no, I've also completely forgot the obvious about the cloth and why I'm liking it so much. Is it is the, the counter to the counter, right? Usually lightning decks are gonna destroy us, but then we just come up with the cloth and destroy the lightning. So yeah, it's actually it actually covers itself a little bit, which is really cool. But I think uh do I think Palkia? Nah, let's go for the wake, man. That's what we're here for. We're here to vibe with the wakey wake. And we even get the booster. It's destiny. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can do something. And there's another wake. This is where we just go wild, bro. Okay, we just say that onto this bad boy. And that's another wake ready for even next turn if we need to. Unfortunately, no out to a prime. But we're definitely not short of attackers to see through the game. So I am fine with this. Yeah, because like, even if they come up with iron hands, right? And take the KO. Which, by the way, they can't do because they're only hitting 240 on me. Because this isn't the iron hands of the crown. Unless they have. A, 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 a defiance belt, then yeah, they could. I think they already used their max belt, didn't they? Did they have a max belt that they used? No, uh, we haven't seen a haven't seen an A spec just yet. Okay, so they could have a max belt as well, and it could hand to take three prizes, but if they do that, then it just opens me up to just come up with this and take out the hands, right? And that's why benching the wake was important. But either way, there's a flower selecting coming through. There you go. Kind of a pokey gear this time. There's the hands as anticipated, and unfortunately, even that won't be able to do it because we're just that versatile. There's a Mirage Gate. Do you know what? I really like this game. I really like this game. This is my last game of the video, but I'm going to put it first because I think it shows everything the deck can do, right? It's everything. I got a Greninja. I got a Claw 2 prize KO. I've come in with the wake with the, with the thing on it, right? Uh, with the uh, booster. I've done the bonnet combo. I've, I've, I've got a wake coming up after another wake just to really hammer down what this deck can do. And I 
adore it. Actually, no, might have to come up with something else because they have just got rid of my booster. That said, I do have two more. So I should be able to find it. If not, what do I do? I just can't, I just can't with the claw, don't I? I just try and get a turbo and a claw. Yeah, that's also fine. Oh, they prime catch? What are you doing? Why are you taking out the Palkia? I guess because it's the biggest threat. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, because I could just, yeah, that's true actually. With a bench Pokemon, I would get, I would get. Would I get a KO? Yeah, I would have got a KO for game. Actually, no, they made the right choice. They made the right choice. But I still can win with the, with the, with the wake. I just need the, I just need the right outcome here. I need to get a, oh, an Arida. What would that do for me quickly? I don't think it'll do anything actually. I could fit my hand down, but I actually genuinely see more cards. Uh, do I do this? No, because the Pokestop won't find me any of the pieces I need. So I Artisan and get the cloth down. Please don't tell me I've bloody prized it. No, we get the cloth down. A boss will do the job and so will a double turbo or a booster. So there's a lot of cards we can get to and the prime. Oh no, I've got a prime capture, haven't I? Yeah, I've got a prime capture. I win. Okay. <laughs> and you got scared for a second. I, 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 I know. Sorry, my bad. Just a reader and prime capture, my guy. We're fine. Yeah, like that. Bob's your uncle. The free retreat, not free retreat, but the one retreat on this wake goes a long way, man. Just bring this bad boy up, come into the wake, manually live a tree, and have wake finish the job. How, how about that? Sounds good to me. Cheers. 100 damage. See you later. And that was so good. Beautiful game. We are going first. You know what's funny? There is a genuine technical uh, way where if you, if you go second, you can attack going first. Did I just say if you go second, you can attack going? Shut up. All right. It's called scatter brain for a reason. My brain's all spit You know what I mean? And here we pop. So, Bidoof down. Bonnet down. Conceal cards. See what we get here. Turbo and two energy. That's going to be very nice for Palkia to use. In fact, I'm very tempted to just get a Palkia down. <laughs> I mean, it won't be able to accelerate to itself, but if I just get a wake down, then it's much easier to attack, theoretically speaking. Or do I go for a claw? I have a theory that I'm playing against a future box, so I think it's going to be difficult. Um, it is going to be difficult. I'll go for a Palkia. Let's, let's mention Palkia here, because that's the one evolving Pokemon. Obviously, the claw or the wake doesn't evolve, so that's easier. Yep, it is exactly what I thought. This deck is just all over the place. Not great, because it's not a particularly good matchup for the walking wake, right? You know, you can hit the hands for weakness, granted, but the hands hit you for weakness. So they're going to take three prize turns. Three. It's like you're playing a VMAX deck un involuntarily. But hey-ho, that's the state of the ladder. There is a Arvin there. Seems like they're looking to go for a very quick hands by grabbing the generator instead. Instead of a Techno Radar. There's one crown down. And they're just going to retreat. I think they're just going to attack with Marauder. Oh, no, they part. They didn't even attack. Why did they get the generator then? That's strange. So, Ultra Ball. What do I... Do I even attack? I don't think I attack with Greninja this turn. I think I've got an idea. This involves attaching here, but it does actually... Uh, mm, no, it involves this. Okay, let's get rid of you. Um, Actually, yeah. Oh, do you know what? Let's just do this. Can I get... Palkia out. So that way I at least always have an attack. I could I could to be fair just attack with this Palkia and probably get a KO. As long as I bench enough. But I would rather get the wake. Okay. That's that's one part of the puzzle. I also want to get Bib barrel. And that involves getting rid of some supporter cards, uh, which just means I can fit out my hand better. But I want to be able to get this wake out and, and, and take a KO. But in order to do that, I think I can attach here, actually, because I am going to retreat either way. Well, actually, wait, let's... Okay, let me head ball quickly. Uh, I'll fail that. Attachment gives me one more card, but if I... I could get a switch card, and that would actually mean the attachment's a bit more... No, it's not. Let's, let's attach. Let's go for a bit barrel here. Oh, hello! It's a prime capture, is it? I don't think I want a prime capture, actually. I think I just want to attack with the power yeah, I think I bench the claw. Not yet. Yeah, if they come up with, a, with, a, with an iron hands and just swing at me. That said, if I can attack with the wake, it chaos the hands anyway, but I'd rather it be on a claw, to be fair. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'll... I've got the I've got the switch. Um, In that case, I just switch and don't retreat, right? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Okay, let's switch to the power kit. This is why we have the power kit, bro. It, just the 1-1 one, one power kit is always nice. And then what I can do here is get two on here. And I think I'll get one on the wake, or do I go for one on the claw? Oh, no, it's all water. So I don't think the Greninja's going to be good. I'm either taking one at KOs or not. And I don't think the maths applies here, apart from maybe on that Mew. So, yeah. I just don't want to Greninja up, usually. So, I'm just going to put it on the wake. Have I concealed cards yet? I haven't! Okay, let's conceal cards as well. That always helps with the pro Professor Seda. Yeah, lovely. Okay, we cook. Alright, let me subspace swell. And then next turn, we can just go for a cheeky prime capture if they try and bench something again, which they obviously are going to do in order to attack. But I, I need to get, I just need to get the tool cards. I need to get me boosters. All right, there's more ride on. And the hands. Okay, now there's a real incentive here, a real incentive to find the tool card because then I can just literally prime capture this up. Just KO it with the claw. Or actually, I can actually KO with the wake, but I'd, again, I'd rather the claw. Oh, but then no, because if I KO the iron hands here with the baton, the poison kills it. And the 
the baton doesn't activate. So it actually makes more sense to attack with the wake if I get what I need. So there's 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 a pretty good I, I think we've got a pretty good shot here, man. Unless if they bench now, then all I've got to do is just retreat and I can just KO them with Palkia. Ah, but then again, if they if they accelerate to the hands, I don't want the baton to activate. So it actually makes more sense for me to just prime catch and try and get the tool card. And if not, then retreat to Palkia as a last resort. Yeah. So I think right now we're hitting 210, is it? No, we're hitting 220. We're hitting 220 currently, which means one bench Pokemon means 240 and that will KO the hands and there you go. So if they bench anything here, which they probably will, we guarantee a KO on hands, but we just want that baton to fail. So yeah, it really depends on how we do here. Oh, I don't think they are benching the hands here. I mean, technically you should because if the baton activates, then you'd have a hands for it to go on to, but now there's a there's a little less, less stress here. Because if we do KO it, then where does the energy go, right? It's just going to go onto the Mew? It, yeah, that's wild. Then. Okay, so KO is guaranteed here, right? Oh, well, no, not really, actually. Because, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. Because the power QR is doing 220. So I kind of need to just pray a little bit. Okay, let's see what we do. Let's bring this up. Gonna promote this ninja. And I, I do think the wake is best. Uh, is the wake better? Yeah, it won't activate baton, but actually, yeah, I could just let him go for a spark and strike if I activate baton. Okay, so let's go into the wake. And now we need to pray. So let's just start Yono. Gonna give them a bigger hand, but I need to see. I played four of the boosters, bro. I should hit it. Yeah, there you go. That's a hit, baby. Oh, we're cooking. And we go for a retreat. Actually, shouldn't have done that. Should have poisoned first, but the sequencing who cares i care a lot right it's fine inside it don't matter because i've got the booster <laughs> all right yeah this is cook town bro too many chefs in the kitchen see you later iron crown i mean iron hands i can't talk and the poison takes it out failing the baton beautiful play gotta love to see it man gotta love to see it and if they get our hands going again we just go for the claw oh mate it's wonderful it's wonderful we should be really going we should be uh, it should be a bad matchup for us ultimately because of the weakness they get their hands going and it's dangerous but we have tricks up our sleeve which is what i like about this walking wake i didn't want to go all in you know and just try and do okay walking wake say this vitality and just go for it or i see people trying to do walking wake um with the back caliber perfectly fine idea I just kind of like things with a bit more going on in terms of strategies. Like here, you can go for the claw. Let's be fake. You could do claw and back Excalibur, but they scoop. <laughs> that should never be happening, but we got it. We're playing Arctina. <laughs> Makes me feel glad the claws in here. Hey. The hand, however, isn't the best. We could definitely pop off with, a, with a, an instant swing here with the claw, though, uh, especially with double, double booster. I could just go like this. Um, sure thing, I'll do that. Go for an Ultra Ball, get myself the obvious, get the bonnet, put the uh, tool card on it. And if I get an uninjured sizes off, that would be nice. But uh, it's at a bit of a price to pay to do that. Let's see if we get the turbo, hey? And we do. Okay, I, I'm a little bit shocked, I can't lie. Loki didn't see that happening. And yet, here we are. There's the Toxic Powder and the Aggression. Man, the Aggression is great. Uninjured sizes, 170. If only that was an Arceus V in the active, huh? Well, it'd be a whole different game. In fact, it'd be so different it would be over. There's a Nest Ball, though. <laughs> There's the Arceus finally coming down. Bidoof coming down and a Squivet. And knowing Arceus, Tina, for some reason, it feels in this post rotation a little bit less consistent. And I don't know why. Something about it just doesn't feel as consistent as Arceus back in the day. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know why. But I, listen, maybe it's just my own personal bias. But when I play Arctina, it just, there's something about it. Just, I always seem to whiff a couple things here and there. Don't make me eat my own words as my opponent just starts popping off. But I don't know why. I, I don't get it. It's still Arceus, so it shouldn't. But there's just, yeah, there's just some strange thing about it. I built my own Arceus list, actually. Um, and it's doing quite well. In fact, I'm doing better with that than I did with the Arctina. It hits less hard, but it tanks a lot more. And also plays Radiant Charizard. Arceus Radiant Charizard, I think, is so cool. I'll never make a video on it because Arceus Radiant Charizard is nothing new. And it's just not interesting. At least to the majority of people. But, uh, yeah. That, that, I'm going on a tangent here. They go for an Abyss Seeking. And, oh, we get the Prime? Are you kidding me? I feel so bad. But then again, like, yeah. Okay, no, we definitely Prime here, don't we? We attach Prime and then we can go for a Seder. Yeah, it's a shame because I want to KO the, 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 the Tina. But the Tina will go down eventually. This Doddy needs to go. <laughs> okay, this is some serious talk. Like, like I can't lie. Yeah, I can't I can't hide that. Look, let's just go for a Seder onto the other walking wake. And then a turbo there will get that going. Oh Jesus Christ, I am God. Just just call me God. I am the one who sendeth the greatest down and strike upon the Arceus. Oh, I feel bad. I do feel bad. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, I've seen enough. Okay, I don't need any more energy in my life. Alright, you can see I'm already filled with it. Bloody hell, mate. How many turbos you can give me? Can I have a Badoof? That'd be nice. What's funny as well, they got Lost City, so <laughs> the Arceus goes to the Dido City. Alright, they get a turbo, but again, they have to just pass. Bro, if I top like a boss, it's scripted. It's it's 
is scripted. Uh, there's no paid actor on my opponent's side of the field, but there's a paid actor whoever's drawing my cards for me, I'm telling you. Iono, actually, not against that, to be fair to you. It's a shame to see the turbos go, but I think I need a little bit of more consistency on my side. Okay. You don't want to see that on a Wednesday morning. But they do great ball and they get themselves an Arceus V-Star for next turn. They just got to get another one down. Yeah, I need to get my other claw out because it, it, it would just start cooking. At least I can attack next turn, regardless if I dead draw. So there's that. I have a Bidoof down as well. And I think I'm going to go for a Greninja, you know. I think I'm going to just 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 get the Ninja Boy. I need to draw out of this, mate. Uh, no, no, I ain't about. Actually, that does mean I can't attack next turn if I don't get any good cards. But I'm sure we won't. Bro, come on. You can't give me a good start like that. And then just yeah, give me this nonsense, hey. Eh? Right all right, let's just Toxic Powder and just go for the scissors. At least we get a prize card there. So if we get an Ultra Ball, we can do so. Oh, no, I could have done something with Ultra Ball anyway. Can I have something nice, please, good sir? And an Iona, I'll take... Yeah, I don't feel too great about it, but I, I'll take it. Now we just need to wait for that uh, that Tina to eventually come up. Because I'm sure they've got to in order to, like, get, you know, catch up. Because, yeah, they're not taking one of KOs with the Arceus, but they will be with the Tina. But if the Tina comes up, there's going to be so many HP that I could just delete it. So it's a bit of a tricky situation, huh? Well, there's Star Birth. They could decide to get rid of the Bonnet, but that would be so, so so wrong because what if i just have another one right and then i could just go for the uninjured sizes and just knock you out uh, that you're doing that Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, look. They're technically, in a way, making the right decision because my hand is low. And if they could see my hand, it's still relatively okay. Because, you know, you're, you're throwing it in the, in the in the lost zone. You're kind of deleting my deck if you get rid of the bonnets. So I can kind of see the strats. And if that happens, then we just go for Palkia, right? Because that's, that's an attacker that doesn't require the bonnet. So that's also quite nice. Um, and... Ultimately, my goal here, very simple, just get that bonnet going again, basically. Oh, I do need to rot the Palkia, you know. Um, all right, here's what I'm doing. I'm going to rot the Palkia because I, I am going to need that card. I think I hold the energy. Yeah, I hold the energy. And then I'm just going to Ultra Ball and get myself a bit barrel and hopefully I just get a better supporter card. And that just increases my odds of hitting my... Okay, I've got I've got two boosters still in the deck. So, okay. All right. Maybe I should have... No, I don't, no, I don't think holding that earlier would have made a difference. Let's just go for the insides and see what we do. Do we get any luck? No. Oh, wow. This is just very bad luck. Actually... I can just KO the Tina, right? Not with this one, I know, because I'm only doing 20, well, well, 20, I'm only doing 10 damage. I just retreat attached to the wake and just KO the Tina, bro. Oh, but I can't retreat because it's a bloody free retreat cost Pokemon. Oh, you're such a fraud. That just sucks. Um, okay. Let me just attach here then. <laughs> and I'll go for an unhinged scissors for 20. That's fine. That's fine. If we just KO this, uh, we, we cook. So we just need them to KO the claw or boss KO this, which is probably what they're going to do. But again, if they do that, we still have a good out to game because we don't even need the bonnet to just boss KO the barrel for game as well. So as it stands, we still have a good run in. And we still have another claw as well. So don't forget that. Either way, they nest born. It seems like they're failing it yet. They're trying to fin now. There's a maximum belt. They put it on the Arceus. So yeah, I guess they could just KO one of the walking wakes, right? They Iona or oh, course. Of course, when I get a boss, the Iona. Know me. And then now I'm going to get an out to the bonnet if they KO the other one. Uh, I just need to get that Tina, bro. I just need to hit that Tina, you know? Okay, they're Trinity Nova. I'm actually hitting 240 plus poison is 250. So if they hold the Arcus in the active, that's... Jesus Christ, my damage is like literally... What if I... I could also get a Greninja late gameplay if I don't get a good outcome here. I'm just getting awkward hands, aren't I? I need to see some luck. I don't, don't need to see an Iono. I know that for a fact. Okay, here's what I do. I go for this and this, and then I get the claw, right? I've prized the claw! Oh, come on. Okay. I get this down then, and I'll throw this here, and then go for an incisors, and just see if I get lucky. And, Jesus! Why are you giving me a bad hand every time now? I get the good hand, they remove it. I get a bad hand. I get a good hand, they remove it. It's just a cycle. Okay. Looks like I'm just gonna have to attack here for no reason. This just sucks. And if I, I don't know here, I'm guaranteeing you I'm getting trash, but I'm just going to do it and see. But my hand draw is so bad. It's disgusting, mate. And it's... Oh my god. This is just horrible. Right? Let's just go for the... Uh, yeah, sure thing. They come up with a Tina to KO this. I can at least come up with the with the, with the Wake and the Sadist Vitality to finish it off. We're still okay. It's just... Why? Why? <laughs> why are these hands, bro? You know what I'm saying? They boss. Are they going to go for the bonnet again? They are. I, 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 I... Mate, I don't know how... I don't know how I feel about this because... Clearly, I have enough to win the game. On the bonnet alone. I mean, to be fair, the Palkia is like should be the biggest threat because I can just come up and KO now without needing another bonnet. In fact, I think I promote, yeah, I think I promote the Arida. Which I've got an idea. What if I No, actually that's a bad idea. I was gonna say, what if I promote the walk and wake, retreat it, and then go for a state of vitality? That's just pointless. I think I just accelerate to the Palkia, right? With the Arida. And that way I have an attacker that doesn't require the bonnet. And again, this is why the Palkia is here. Alright, okay. Let, let's, let's let's just do this then. Let's get you and I guess I'll just get. Actually, I can get the heavy ball. Yeah. 
the heavy ball can also get me a claw, so there's just that threat to win the game as well. Yeah, I won't do it just yet, because obviously I, I need the, you know, the bonnet. I don't need the bonnet, but it would be nice. I also could just Greninja for game as well, to be fair. Yeah, okay, that'll force him to get a Manaphy down, or at least try. Okay, yeah, options. Loads of options. Options out, me backside. Let's get another bonnet down as well, and then just go for uh, inner sizes. Okay, Toro, we get the booster as well. I think it's kind of just a no-brainer just to throw it on, eh? That said, maybe I should have held it. I don't think it matters. Right, well, I'm not going to poison because I'm KOing anyway. Let's, let's start portal. And now we have a Palkia charged up. That's nice. Oh, maybe I should have promoted the way uh, I'm retreated because then I could have put one extra on the Greninja to have that be a threat. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, well, let's just go for a subspace swell for the KO. And we should have a boss coming up at some point, right? Our deck's been thinned down. There's been a lot of shuffling and moving. Like, I think we're due a boss's orders soon. But if I had an energy switch, that would also be kind of clutch. But that's just not happening here. But if they just take a KO, then we could also just go for the claw. So there's, 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 there's there's things. There's things that can happen. I still think we're in a good spot. It's just been very awkward getting there. I think we could have won earlier if we didn't get some, you know, weird, weird draws. But that's just the nature of the game. They ultra will get rid of a judge and a lost city to get themselves an Arceus so they can attack here. It might just straight boss up. Um, and that wouldn't be a bad call to be fair. Because they get a KO on my walking wake, then it's actually pressure for me to take a, take a KO for, for game. Oh, they do boss. But do they go for the greed or do they take the bonnet? Oh, they're going to greed it. Okay, that means the claw is now legit possible. But I need to thin my hand down. My hand it's not, it's not it, bro. And now I regret not promoting him a retreat in the wake because I could have just Greninja this turn for game as well. All right, well, they, oh, they, they vacuum. Okay, that's fair. Wow, they are just removing everything. Fair play to them. They're doing it right. And so we're now being punished by a couple of decisions on my end and also the draw. So this is just dangerous now. We're, we're in a very dangerous place. Just just give me a boss, bro. I had it one turn before. You can give it to me again. I'm sure you can. And if it is a boss, it's going to be the wake finishing the job to make up for the punishment that this game has been. And it's a town store, of course it is. Okay, let's just town store here. If I have one more, I do, then at least there's a potential for... Look, I've got two bosses, and I've got... What? I, wait, what? Oh, I've prized a turbo as well. Wait, did I prize a boss and a turbo? Of course I did. Oh, no, no, of course not. I've only got one prize left. Why am I waffling, bro? Okay, let's just get the booster, and I go for a bench cloth. I throw the booster down. I then go for a concealed cards. We should get something. Ah, there you go. It's GG. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. I was not confident there, but this is why the claw is here, okay? Okay, not just for the Arceus, even though you're seeing that happen now, but there you go. It's just an easier attacker and sometimes it can win you the game. And there you go. That's lovely. Bloody stressful though, eh? 1,200 damage. Million enough, this video's almost got me to bloody shaming. That's wild. I've been like struggling to get out of this Victinia for a while and playing meta decks. I play a rogue deck and I start having fun and next year I'm going up. It's kind of funny. Well, 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 this is the way I like to play the wake. I just want to go crazy with it. Hit the cloths, hit the Greninjas, hit the Palkias. It feels like a box deck. It's so strange. If I was to suggest anything, maybe lean more into the claw because it's still just a cloth deck and instead go down to two Walking Wake, maybe go down to two Seder's Vitalities and up one more Arida to give you more search for the Greninja plays, more search for the Prime Captures uh, and more pieces. Um, you could even instead go for a bit, a couple more Arvin if you want to, to just guarantee things. But look, ultimately, this isn't, it, it's, it is kind of a Frankenstein deck, right? Because what you're really doing is you're blending Cloth with Walking Wake. You know, you're taking, you're borrowing from the archetype of Cloth Electrode and then just kind of squeezing the Walking Wake archetype in there to make this kind of thing. So it really depends on what angle you want to go with. Do you want to lean to the Cloth? Do you want to lean to the Wake? It's up to you, really. But the core of the deck is there. And I think it's really, really fun. And, and probably one of the best ways, in my opinion, to play Wake right now. Don't get me wrong, you still have bad matchups. You lose pretty badly to Zard. You still lose pretty badly to Lugia. But what deck doesn't, you know? <laughs> Obviously, unless you counter it, but that's just a whole different story. But not every deck can have it all. And nonetheless, I think this one isn't bad for the ladder at all, really. So give it a whirl and let me know what you think. But we'll leave it there. And as always, take care. And peace. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.